Update 42 for Balloons Tower Defense is the gift that keeps on giving, my friends, because they have added some insane buffs to some towers, and today we're going to be covering the Ninja Monkey buff, specifically the Bottom Path Ninja Monkey, which has been notoriously bad at being an offensive tower. Yeah, the Sticky Bombs are good for taking out Moabs and doing damage to bosses, but other than that, it's a little bit lackluster. The last update, not this one, Ninja Kiwi also did some stuff making Flash Bomb deal more damage, which was nice, but now they're ramping it up even more. They've actually changed the way that Flash Bomb and Sticky Bomb work, meaning that the Ninja Monkey now does more damage to stun balloons, meaning that it can actually do insane amounts of damage if you increase its attack speed and pierce. So today, we're going to be doing a strategy revolving around the brand new Flash Bomb Sticky Bomb Ninja and see how powerful it really is. I love Ninja Monkey and personally, I love getting Flash Bomb. I love getting Sticky Bomb Ninja. It's probably my favorite ninja pass. I mean, honestly, I don't think I get any other ninja towers anyways. I am going to go ahead and grab Oban. Oban is going to give some buffs to our ninja monkeys. I'm really excited because the whole idea and concept what Ninja Kiwi said in their update patch notes is they want it so if you buff the flash bomb, he's able to just do some crazy damage. As Ninja Kiwi says in their update notes, we're trying out a change that makes flash bomb ninja scale better with attack speed and pierce as something of a combo attacker. Overall, this feels pretty right for ninjas and more importantly, it's cool. And sometimes that's what matters most. Ah, I love Ninja Kiwi. They understand the essence of what's important in games and it's just about having fun and having things that are cool. And so I'm excited to see how well this ninja monkey actually does. Now. We are going to need some banana farms, but I'm not going to focus too heavily on them. I think as long as we have, like, some kind of small money-making towers, I think life is just going to be a little bit easier. I'm not looking to go some crazy ultra boost, you know, paragon upgrade type of thing. Even though the paragon for the ninja monkey has been buffed to do more damage to stun towers. But, okay, Oban. Oban, I think you're I think you're not understanding, Mr. Oban. Oban, you need to go. We're going to put Oban down here. I want the ninja monkey to be doing some more work here. All right, we can go ahead. We're also just going to get sharp shurikens anyways, and then we can go ahead. We can get caltrops. It's already actually doing pretty good. And so the mixture with flash bomb is going to allow them to start doing way more damage. They just took this update as an excuse to just buff all the good towers. They're like all the towers that are great, they're just like, let's just make them really, really powerful. And they've gotten really good over the years at knowing how to balance things and just keep keep things really exciting. I love that they even changed it. Combination attack. All right, let's go ahead and get flash bombs. So, so it alternates now between the two of them. And when balloons are stunned, he does more damage, which is really, really cool. So I think what we're going to try to do is to maximize this, right? Ideally, you want balloons to be stunned for as long as possible, okay? And then we also want to make sure that we have enough buffs for our ninja monkeys. So they, they get bonuses to attack speed and their pierce, right? Because when balloons are stunned, or once we get sticky bomb, it doesn't say it, but once balloons are actually stickied, or once, yeah, once Moabs have a sticky bomb on them, these ninjas also do more damage. So I guess it counts as a stun target, which is really, really cool. I wish we could have them side by side so we could see the differences. Like, you could have, like, the old one versus the new one to see, like, which one is really, really good. So far, I'm excited to see how this works, though. Sticky bomb is going to be really, really good. I don't think we need that for a while, though. And it, look at this. It's already doing very well. So maybe what we should do is... What if we put in the middle here? Like, we'll put all of our ninjas here. Along the outside, we'll get... Yeah, Shinobi Tactics. This ninja monkey has 4,000 pops already. I guess we'll just go straight for Sticky Bomb. Because we're gonna need Sticky Bomb anyways, right? Alright, we got Sticky Bomb, which increases the range. I just realized that. I did not know that. Alright, so what we can do is now... We'll just start going ahead. And we're gonna just need to put down some Shinobi Tactics. Increases attack speed and pierce, right? So this guy's already... He's actually doing pretty good. Look at how powerful he is. He's just like, boom, 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 boom. Oh, and that's right. These guys push things back. I guess Ninja Discipline and Sharp Shuriken can be a nice combo for these. Wait. Increases attack range. So once we get further out, we can do that. All right, let's see how we do with this Moab. He's already got 9,000 pops, which is pretty good. 
Like, we haven't put a ton of money into him yet. The plan is to put a bunch of money into him. Eventually, I'll just have one perma through. Preemptively, I'm just gonna put you down right here. I think we definitely wanna have an army of Shinobi Tactics. I love the idea of Shinobi Tactics, but man, why does it have to be 20? Right? To get the max out of it, having to have 20 of these ninjas is just not that good. And I think, like, the main thing is Shinobi Tactics just isn't... Uh, should I get one balloon sabotage? Just in case. Might as well have one balloon sabotage, right? Like, why not? So this guy already has six. So this is a T4 sticky bomb, by the way. And he's going really crazy. Like, he's already doing quite a lot of work. Look at how fast he attacks. And once... Uh, remember, while it's stunned, he also does more damage. And Ninja Kiwi's thought process with this, which I kind of agree, right? Is that... The whole point of ninja is you just get a whole bunch of shurikens. And then you just do tons of damage with a shuriken. But this guy never gets any shurikens. He just always throws one shuriken, right? He's always just throwing one shuriken at a time. Because double shot is your T3. So why not make that one shuriken he throws actually do a lot of damage? So I'm really... Maybe we just make this one master bomber. And we just buff the one master bomber as much as possible. Or do we just get a bunch of sticky bomb ninjas? I kind of want to get a bunch of sticky bomb ninjas. At least get a couple of them and then just fill them up right here. Let me get one monkey Wall Street. Because I think if we can just go ahead and get monkey Wall Street, well, I think we're going to be good. So these guys have gotten like a little bit, a little bit, but still not as many as our ni master bomber. Which is so nice to be able to finally start having this be more of an offensive tower. Because mostly, when you have a, a, like a flash bomb or something, you need something else along with it. Okay, yeah, I know we have a whole bunch of ninja monkeys giving him buffs. But I think he'd probably be fine without them if we have an alchemist. I think I just want to really put him to the max now to see his ultimate ca capabilities of a tower, right? Really push him to the max, see how well we can do. That's kind of why we have... A, is this... He, is he even in range? Oh, nature's clarity. So once he... Wait, is this guy... If he's not even in range, that'll be really sad. Okay, there we go. We got one monkey Wall Street, so we should be able to make tons of money now. Okay, let's go ninja discipline, sharp shurikens, and then we can go ahead and just get another sticky bomb. Thank you. Are you going to get more range open? I really hope you get more range because it'll be really sad if you don't. He should be in range for nature's clarity. Louis Hill, go ahead and just get permabrew now. I kind of want to get one master bomber. Not that we'll need it. Yeah, we can go ahead and get one master bomber. I think that seems relatively reasonable. Okay, yeah, they have it. Nice. So he has nature's clarity. So now look at his range. His range is insane. Nice. All right. Larger potions, acidic mixture dip. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. I really want to get permabrew. And then once I have permabrew, we can just start going crazy. And what's really cool is it kind of just stuns him, right? All right. Let's see how much, let's see how much damage this guy does. So look at, how, look at his right clicks. His right clicks are actually kind and kind of insane. And so he's also, again, it's more of like a mixture, right? He's not going to be as powerful as a Grandmaster Ninja, just throwing things down on him, right? But I don't think that's really the point. The point is for him to be able to stand more on his own and be able to do some damage, which is actually 45,000 mobs. It would be so interesting to see the difference with this update and the last update and or the, the previous update and see just how much damage difference it makes. Hmm, do I just put this guy right in the middle? I don't think it really matters. So I'm gonna turn this into the Master Bomber. And once I get this into the Master Bomber, we'll start surrounding them all with the Shinobi Tactics. I guess we should also get a Village, because the Village increases his, his attack speed by 15%. Plus, getting Homeland Defense is going to be really nice. Yeah, are we going to get Master Bomber? Okay, there we go. We're so close to getting it. All right, there we go. And now he's going to become an absolute beast. All right, there. There we go. Nice. Okay, bigger Radius, Jungle Drums. And now I can go ahead. I don't need MIB yet. I am no oh my gosh look at his pops he's he's a menace do we get more sticky bombs or do we just see how strong this one master let's just see how strong the one master bomber is that seems very amusing honestly okay let's go ahead and now we can just put all of this all of our beautiful six wait that's seven eight nine and then ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, oops, 17, 18, 19, 
and 20. Okay, so this is going to be all of our shinobi tactics. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, I got one Caltrop. It's fine. I don't want all of them to be Caltrop. That seems kind of annoying. All right, you have 20. There we go. All right, so there's the full 20 shinobi tactics. And, I mean, these guys all have their shinobi tactics buffs as well. All right, nice. All right, what else do we need? All right, we can go ahead. I want to get an engineer because I really want to get this guy ultra boosted. If we can get this. Wait, what? Look at this. He put one. Did you see that? He put one thing on, but now he doesn't have the range anymore. What is happening? Did you see? He put, put it down one time, and now he's not putting it down anymore. Also, why there's no there's literally nothing coming out of the screen right now. I kind of want this guy to be more in range. Like I want this guy to be uh, it's not going to happen though. It ain't going to happen. All right. And ultra boost. Nice. All right. Ultra boost. All right, so you have the <laughs> this guy is going to be He's going to be beefing. Let's go up against the ZoMG. Let's see how powerful the master bomber is against the ZoMG now. Hopefully, he should be... Look at how fast he is attacking, though. He is ab an absolute powerhouse. Because one of the problems that this guy would have is he can't do damage to, like, BADs, right? Or can't do a ton of damage, at least. So, let's see how he does against the ZoMG. Oh, my gosh. That was really fast. That was really fast. Okay. Let's go ahead. We need to... Well, let's jump this up. All right. Let's go up to some difficult rounds. Let's go up to round 95. All right. Which we're already there. All right, we can go ahead and get Homeland Defense. And now remember, let's see what happens. Look, at these guys have 20,000 pops, a T3 tower. That is insane, actually. That is crazy. The balloons aren't even getting past these towers. Look at how crazy that is. All right, here's the Master Bomber now. Let's look at his pop. This is round 95. Granted, we have an insane setup, right? Like, this is obviously, you're not going to have this. In a, you can't, like, get this in chimps or something. But I was expecting a little bit of resistance. Remember this? Look at how fast he's attacking! Holy cow! Wait, this is way stronger than I thought. Look at how fast- Whoa, 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 whoa. He's insane how fast he- Look at his sticky bombs! Look at how fast he throws out sticky bombs! Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> Holy cow! What? Okay, maybe the, maybe a BAD will put him in it. It literally permanently stuns balloons. Okay. Let's see. Look at his attack damage! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's... All right. Out of curiosity, what if we just get... A, can I fit a normal ninja somewhere in here? All right. Out of curiosity, I want to get Bloon Jitsu on this guy. All right. I just got a Grandmaster Ninja. Okay. I want to see... Where... This... Wait. This is crazy. This tower should not be this strong. All right. Let's go up to, like, around 130. Look at the BAD. Okay, look at his pop count. <laughs> That's great. I was not expecting. All right, let's also boost it. Look at this. He's permanently stunning tower. How many pops? This guy has 300,000. He can barely keep up. Two million pops. All right, a fortified BAD. There's no way that a fortified B. Let's see. Look at this. All right. The fortified BAD is putting up a little bit of... He's putting up a little bit of resistance. All right. This guy... I'm selling this guy because I want to see just the pure raw power of this guy. Dead in their tracks. They actually can't move. Look at this. Three million pops. This is round 140. That is insane. Okay. This strategy might be a little bit busted. I'm loving this. Look at how much damage he does. All right, I would love to see a comparison between the two of these, but I think it's very clear to see how powerful they've made this new this, this change to the Master Bomber. The Master Bomber is now easily regarded as a very strong offensive tower, especially since he has insane pierce can stun towers. Obviously, it's a little overboard 
with getting all of the buffs possible, right? Like, he's ultra boosted. You have villages. You have all of these things. You have permabrew on him. So, this is the strongest he can get. But I think just casually putting him down in a game is also really good. I definitely will find myself using this tower a whole lot more just casually. Just throwing it down. Because it can do... It does everything. It pops every single type of balloon. It can deal with Moabs. It can stun balloons. It slows them down. It does a lot of damage. Overall, I think this is the best path for the ninja easily now. It was already before, but I don't think there's any comparison now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.